exorbitant. Meghan and Harry fall into the trap as their hope to leave the £11 million mansion torn apart. Claims Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were considering selling their £11 million mansion have been dismissed. Meghan and Harry are not looking to move to a different neighborhood in Montecito, according to the Santa Barbara Village's paper. A section of the local newspaper Montecito Journal titled Rumors and Actual News claimed the speculation over the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's next property move was fictitious and had been started by one hopeful realtor, estate agent. The paper read, apparently, this one was started by a hopeful realtor listing a property in Burnham, who wanted to gin up interest in it, but had no idea that worldwide press would jump on anything that mentions these two. The article went on to stress the welcoming and private nature of the Montecito village. It read, you know, the point of the moving here was to have a nice community to fit in, enjoy, and be part of. We're pretty good around here at respecting people's privacy. Realtors who want to overhype a listing, be warned. Reports claiming the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were not entirely thrilled of their mansion and may desire to relocate somewhere else in Montecito first emerged in early January. A source told the Mirror, they are thinking of selling their house there. However, it won't be on the market because of who they are. It's only being shown to people who are confirmed with funds and are serious buyers. Another source claimed the Sussexes were not over the moon about the house and the location. Many people have expressed their opinions on this information of the couple. One said, apparently that house is still listed for sale and they've only rented it, not bought it. I've seen up-to-date listings that say it's been on the market continuously for years now so this is also a lie by whomever this person is. Another stated, their finances bear some scrutiny both in the US and the UK. That property costs a fortune in maintenance both inside and out. Their contracts with Netflix and Spotify presumably had a signing payment, with the balance to be paid over a number of years as they produced programs or documentaries. What have they produced? And already their names are hardly a big asset to those companies. What is their income now? Who are they beholden to behind the scenes? One more added, still think they're going broke. You can't live in Montecito, pay the taxes, mortgage, property upkeep, security based on one Spotify broadcast, a bomb of a children's book and no film as of yet for Netflix. Harry's inheritance is dwindling fast. They're not fooling anyone. Harry and Meghan moved into their Montecito residence in the summer of 2020. The home reportedly counts nine bedrooms and 16 bathrooms, a tea house and a spa. Over the past months, the couple has allowed the public to catch a glimpse into their home on a few different occasions. As part of their interview with Oprah Winfrey in early 2021, Harry and Meghan were filmed chatting with the journalist inside a chicken coop in their garden. The coop is home to rescued chickens and was given the adorable name Archie's Chicken after the couple's firstborn Archie Harrison. The Sussexes have shown other parts of their garden on different occasions, most notably in the Christmas card they shared in 2020. The card was an artistic rendering of a picture taken by Meghan's mum Doria Ragland and it showed Meghan, Archie and Harry sitting on the premises of the baby's playhouse. Meghan and Harry also showed part of their living room during various video calls with organizations they support or interviews. This home is the only place the Sussex's daughter Lilibet Diana has so far ever lived. Archie, on the other hand, spent the first few months of his life at Frogmore Cottage, a residence near Windsor Castle in which the Duke and Duchess had moved in the spring of 2019.